In recent years, China's advancements in unmanned aerial technology have introduced substantial threats to global naval forces, including the formidable U.S. Navy. These new challenges prompted the United States to equip its ships with cutting-edge defense systems to counter the evolving risks posed by aerial drones, high-speed missiles, and other airborne threats. As the U.S. adapts its naval strategies, a new generation of weaponry is being deployed on American warships to ensure the safety and dominance of its fleets across international waters. U.S. Navy The world's most powerful naval force The United States Navy remains the largest and most sophisticated naval force worldwide, with a staggering 990,000 active personnel and approximately 484 warships. Its fleet includes 11 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers from the Nimitz and Gerald R. Ford classes, which act as mobile air bases that project U.S. military power globally. These carriers are supported by a network of destroyers, cruisers, and submarines that together form a comprehensive strike group. The Navy's surface fleet comprises about 70 Arleigh Bird class destroyers and 22 Ticonderoga class cruisers, each equipped with the Aegis combat system. This advanced combat suite offers robust air defense, anti-submarine capabilities, and ballistic missile defense, leveraging sophisticated radar and missile technologies. For missions near coastal regions, the Navy employs littoral combat ships which offer high maneuverability and versatility. Meanwhile, the Navy's extensive submarine fleet, including Virginia-class fast attack submarines and Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines, provides critical capabilities for stealth reconnaissance and nuclear deterrence. However, in recent years, even these well-equipped vessels have faced new challenges due to rapidly advancing technologies like drones and high-speed, stealthy missiles. U.S. as Gerald R. Ford, a modern marvel. In October 2022, the U.S. as Gerald R. Ford, the Navy's newest and most advanced aircraft carrier, set sail for its maiden deployment amid rising tensions in the Pacific. This behemoth of a ship, towering over nine stories high and weighing an impressive 97,000 tons, is powered by A-1B nuclear reactors. These advanced reactors generate approximately 300 megawatts, making the Ford nearly three times more powerful than its predecessors. However, the carrier and its fleet are not impervious. They now face threats from Chinese anti-ship missiles capable of speeds exceeding Mach 5. These high-speed missiles pose a serious risk, reminiscent of World War II's aerial attacks on U.S. and British battleships. To counter such modern threats, the Navy is exploring and implementing long-range weapon systems, including naval railguns and laser defenses that could redefine naval warfare. U.S. Naval Weapon Systems – A Closer Look Otto Malara 76mm Naval Gun The Otto Malara 76mm Naval Gun developed by the Italian company Otto Malara, is a versatile autocannon that serves as a frontline defense for close-range engagements against missiles, aircraft, and surface threats. Compact enough to be installed on smaller vessels, this gun can fire at rapid rates with a diverse range of ammunition, including armor-piercing and incendiary rounds. The gun's design features a stealthy dome that allows it to be discreetly concealed, adding to its strategic value. This weapon has undergone several enhancements over the years. For instance, the Super Rapid version introduced in the 1980s features a diagonal dome design and improved firing rate of 120 rounds per minute. This faster rate of fire is achieved through a more efficient feed system, making it exceptionally effective in high-intensity combat. The most advanced variant, known as the Strail system, incorporates DART ammunition, which is specifically designed to intercept subsonic missiles up to 8,000 meters away. The system is especially popular in the Italian Navy, and its modular design allows it to be customized for various roles, such as anti-aircraft and anti-surface operations. Phalanx Close-In Weapon System The Phalanx Close-In Weapon System is an automated rapid-fire gun system, Vital for protecting Navy vessels from incoming missiles, aircraft, and small watercraft. Created by General Dynamics, now managed by Raytheon, the Phalanx consists of a radar-guided 20mm and 61 Vulcan cannon capable of tracking and engaging threats at close range. The system's radar and tracking capabilities allow it to operate autonomously, making it ideal as a last line of defense. Each Phalanx unit can rotate quickly, targeting incoming threats with a high rate of fire, 
up to 4,500 rounds per minute, making it especially effective against fast, evasive targets. Currently, Falak systems are installed on most U.S. surface combat vessels, with international users including the Royal Navies of Britain, Australia, and Canada. Nicknamed R2-D2 due to its dome-shaped radar, the phalanx is essential for ships lacking advanced targeting capabilities. In 2017, Raytheon tested an electric phalanx variant, allowing for adjustable fire rates and reducing maintenance costs by 20%. This newer design enhances efficiency and reliability, helping the Navy to conserve ammunition and improve defensive performance in high-stressed environments. Advanced Rail Guns Rail guns are a futuristic addition to the Navy's arsenal, relying on electromagnetic forces to launch projectiles at extremely high speeds, bypassing the need for traditional explosives. Using two metal tracks or rails, through which an electric current is passed, rail guns accelerate projectiles to speeds over 3 km per second, increasing kinetic impact upon reaching the target. Rail guns' reliance on kinetic energy eliminates the risks of handling explosive munitions, and the high-speed projectiles have greater penetration, making them more destructive. Despite these advantages, rail guns face technological hurdles, particularly with heat management. Rail shots generate massive heat, necessitating the development of heat-resistant materials to prevent rapid degradation. High power capacitors are required to generate the massive energy needed, up to 1 million amps, a challenge yet to be fully overcome. Nonetheless, the U.S. Navy continues to research this technology for potential deployment as rail guns could significantly extend engagement ranges and reduce ammunition costs. High Energy Laser Systems Laser technology offers another promising solution to neutralize aerial and missile threats. The U.S. Navy's High Energy Laser Counter Anti-Air and Cruise Missile Program is focused on developing powerful lasers capable of destroying or disabling enemy drones, missiles, and even incoming artillery rounds. Laser systems have seen operational testing, including a 15 kilowatt prototype installed on a San Antonio class amphibious transport and a 60 kilowatt high energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance system on Arleigh Burke class destroyers. High energy laser counter anti ship cruise missile project, started in 2019, is designed to address challenges such as atmospheric interference tracking precision, and rapid target acquisition. The ultimate goal is to deploy a 300 kilowatt laser capable of neutralizing cruise missiles. Testing of this laser, along with the prototype beam control system, is set to begin at White Sands Missile Range, moving from brown targets to cruise missile surrogates. These advancements indicate the Navy's commitment to laser weaponry, potentially transforming naval defenses with precise, nearly instantaneous engagement capabilities the future of naval defense. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed learning about the advanced defense systems protecting the U.S. Navy's powerful fleet, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments which weapon system you found most impressive. See you in the next video.